Well, that was interesting. Just kind of got blown off the railway platform. Okay, I'm off to another country. I took the train from Driebergen into Amsterdam for the flight to Hamburg to meet my late bloomer fan, Ranka Tessin. I picked up a box of tulips as a hello gift before heading to my gate for the one hour flight. Bye bye Amsterdam. On to Hamburg. In the rain. Thus began my four-day excursion in northern Germany with my own apartment by the water. Ranka and her husband met me with her cardboard sign. I fancied this sleeping cubicle in the airport before heading out for the two-hour drive to the German-Danish border. We passed through Flensburg, founded by Danish settlers in the Middle Ages, which lies at the innermost tip of an inlet of the Baltic Sea, before heading to Ranka's peaceful garden. While she prepared our dinner, I went out for a self-guided tour. I would be interviewing Ranka in a following segment. She says berries and apples always yield reliable harvests in the north with their rainy and often chilly summers. But she began to focus on growing a wide variety of berries, currants, and apples because they are nature's vitamin pills and have more anthocyanins than anything else. Anthocyanins are the pigments that give red, purple, and blue plants their rich coloring. They act as antioxidants in fighting free radicals and may offer anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and anti-cancer benefits. In particular, Ranka wanted to prevent cancer, which has claimed the lives of many family members. Watch my late bloomer episode about her seaweed compost, which turns into black gold that makes everything look so lush. Some 200 containers are where she starts most plants. Because of an army of vicious slugs that even birds won't eat, which march in from the neighboring field every night. about a month early for things to be ripening, 
but her care and love for her garden is everywhere in evidence. They also have lots of deer, but they're small, she says, and these fences are sufficient for keeping them away from tender plants. About 600 square meters in all, the garden wraps around three sides of their house. After a good look around, I went in for our first meal together. Then they drove me over to my neat apartment, where I planned to unwind after a non-stop two weeks of travel. <laughs> 